bought everything at the Russian store we wanted, yummy delicacies, decided not to buy that cow tongue. Today we're buying a printer. Printer is something that I occasionally need, but I never could justify buying one. Finally, today is the day for buying one. I need something that would print and not dry up for a while. So that's what I'm gonna be looking for. That's a great price. That's a better version, higher price. I'm going to need to print lease agreements with my tenants pretty soon in a month or two and uh, I decided to buy a printer with the expense towards the business of course so I'm gonna write it off but still I don't want to buy something that I not necessarily need but something small I'll get something like just black toner a simple printer to print black and white stuff so you know, it can sit there for three years and it won't dry out it's just using dry powder for so it has a lot of things people are looking for today, but it has just one cartridge. It's got an average of about a thousand pages in it before it runs out. can just sit there for years and come back and print fine. Okay. The HPs tend to last a little bit longer, but they, of course, get a little bit more for them. If you look at the alternative in Brother, um, they have the same cost on one here, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have the multi-page feeder with Brother they have a, a two-piece toner. You buy mm -hmm. this, anywhere from three to five of these, and then you have to get this again. So that that's probably, for me, if you're gonna buy a low-cost printer, got more bang for the buck mm -hmm. than the brother does. What about that, that guy? Okay, this, so that's our, our new one. It's a no-name right now, you know, but they're cheaper. I guess I'll take that one. This guy? Yeah. Okay. Any one of those? Please. All right. As you probably know by now, I tend to pay less and then pay again for the same thing. So I'm opting out of getting this one. Um, or maybe I should get that one. I don't know. I can get a warranty for like 10 bucks. I can get a warranty for three years and it's still cheaper. Yeah, I'll probably go with that one if they have it. Okay, okay. Let's, uh, that's, that would Switch be it that? then? Yeah. Yeah, this is it. Um, if you want the spare, that's it. It's got 500 in the box. Oh, it should, be, it should last me a couple of years. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> that guy is really good. I like his explanations and he's really good at helping um, figure out for some amateurs who don't know what they're talking about. But I got the cheaper one, $50 printer. I figured that one is 80. I can add for 10 bucks, I can add three year warranty on this printer. And that's what I'm gonna do. If it breaks, I can still bring it, can't help it, but buy cheaper stuff. <laughs> There's no need for a better one. Yes, sir. Right. Oh, oh, sorry. Good. I want to put your warrant on it, too. Nice. I left my baby in the car, feeding the baby. So yeah, here's my new printer, 50 bucks. And in this case, if something even goes wrong, I have warranty. This is the first time ever, ever in my life I bought warranty. Only because it was 10 bucks. But it's like, it's like 20% of the purchase price. Anyways, I have a printer now. I'm gonna work on setting up contracts for tenants, lease agreements. Oh. So I just took it out of the box and my GoPro SD card failed for some reason so I didn't record that but here it is. It's pretty small actually so I'm thinking just to fit it right in here. It's wireless so it doesn't have to be by my computer. Let's see how hard it is to set it up. I'm just turning it on. Oh, it's not quiet. I wonder if I can set it up without manual. Okay, it doesn't look like it's something I can 
set up that manual. Let's see. It says I need to use disk. Nah, I don't like to use disk. I just plugged the USB cable and it automatically discovered the printer. Didn't really need to use that CD. Once cable is in, it's, it's good to go pretty much. That's great. I have a printer. Yes. All right, guys, that's it for today. We, uh, I got a new printer and it works. So now I can finally put together lease agreements for my tenants because we we are due for update this year in a couple of months for one and a couple in, in, uh, in a month for the other one so great I got my business printer finally first printer I ever bought thank you guys for watching I'll see you in the next vlog